This is your daily market review for Wednesday, July 5th, 2023. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at XP Realty, aka The Trading Agent, and this is your daily market review for Wednesday, July 5th, 2023. Hopefully you had an amazing holiday weekend, a few days, relax. Do what you need to do to get back in the presence of the market. As we talked about on Monday, or didn't talk about, talk about the weekend recap, the Monday action didn't, didn't really matter in my opinion. Got a little bit of froth, and today things started moving in directions that I think will start to make sense here. As we talked about, the market rallies big for the first half of the year going into July. My guess is that this month is going to be sloppy and choppy with the potential for pain, Maybe starting sooner than later, maybe it's a painful month, but August, no doubt. But let's be evidence-based. Let's not try to predict things without evidence first. Reoccurring patterns, that's what we based on, probabilities. Again, we do not assume anything. We define a risk, we manage our risk tolerance, we have our stops, we do what we need to do so that we protect our capital. Always, forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Let's do it. All right, if you had a chance, if you're sorry, if you hadn't had a chance, did a sweet little daily market chat live, talked about the market, what we thought was going to happen. Please check that out. And in that note, let's get into it. Discord room. Link is in the description below if you want to join. Again, this room is meant for what? People who are looking for help, ask questions, get involved. When the teacher is ready, the student appears. Or this when the student is ready, the teacher appears. But that's what the fact is. So hit me up. Also, Twitter, post in what we saw, said and watch the VIX today. Talked about Meta getting up in here. Talked about some of the things going on in the market. Credit crunching. Crunch, 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 crunch. Yeah, in time. Be careful. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you hit the notification bell, you will get notifications of the live chats during the day. Do them a couple times a week. Love when people interact. You literally can pick my brain one-on-one -on -one live with videos of charts, all sorts of fun stuff. And also, too, if you need help, tons of videos. Tons of videos, education series. It's also on my website, thetradingagent.com, right? Yeah. More advanced level, the lower, more beginning at the, you know, the blah, 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 blah. let me try that again. Back to basics. There's more beginning content, beginner content at the top. And then as you get deeper into it, it gets more advanced videos. And sorry, the website is slow, but tons of it. Pro gaps, Fibonacci's, cover call writing, bull and bear traps. Trust me, if you watch all of this, and can't figure it out, hit me up. Last but not least, the Marcus account, talking about the 5.51%, use the discount, not the discount, the promotion code from the website. Telling you, well worth it, love it. Goldman Sachs ain't going anywhere. And if they are, too big to fail. All right, Fed Watch tool, 88% odds of Fed rate hike in July. At this point, that's guaranteed a lock. But what do we do now? The odds can change. Look at it, from a month ago, it was 50%, 13%. You see, all this stuff is flexible fluid. Keep an eye on it. Save this link. Bitcoin. Talked about it. Holding trend. Breaking down trend. Now it's getting stuck up here. High and tight is bullish. Just know your stops. If you bought it and you're trading it, just keep an eye on the upward channel. In my opinion, kind of like all this stuff. It's going to be choppy. Since, I mean, we talked about oil. Leave it alone. Look what's done for months. I anticipate again, the time to buy oil will be when the feds do what? Start cutting rates. Until then, OPEC's going to try to support the market. There is demand destruction. Just keep that in mind. Sideways, same thing with a lot of the commodities. Again, commodities are my favorite, by far, favorite long-term buys. But guess what? When they throw the baby out with the bathwater, they puke it all up. The dollar goes nuts. Bonds rally hard. Then the money, the money will go into that stuff. Dollar, what do we say? Bullish, holding up after a big monster move last year, right? do 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 Close near the highs. Or not because I had a big move. Pulls back, chopping, basing, making higher highs, higher lows. It's getting over the 200-day. 200-day has been massive resistance. If it gets over it, keep it on it. And again, overall, TLT, bonds, whatever, dollar, all look the same. They're all trading in a range. As I've said a thousand times, the market can handle low volatility. If these things start moving, then you start watching. Zavix. Somebody was giving a, someone in the Discord room beef. Oh, Drew being a, a douchebag, telling people like, oh, don't get excited about the VIX. I mean, it's basing. It's over the 20-day. Excuse my language. I didn't mean to say that. But again, being critical. I'm like, I, 
I don't know why you wouldn't be excited about the idea of the VIX going higher. It's literally been basing for almost a month. Gets over the 20 day. Ugh, when's the when's a bear market bottom with the VIX in the 38 level? Never, not once. So is this an opportunity for it to pop? Looking like it. The VIX talked about it, holding this level in the 80s. So far, so good. Sampacha, if you're listening, shout out to you, my friend. I didn't. I hope you didn't feel discounted in your opinion. All right, here's another thing we talked about. Novice gaps. If you don't know the difference, novice and professional gaps. Novice gaps happen at the end of a move before the professionals do what? Unload or accumulate. Novice gap at the highs. Uh, keep an eye on it. Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-
good old Adobe. We said blow off top, just chopping again. Twenty day going to catch up. Four seventy three breaks. Adios, amigos. Casa bonitos. <laughs> uh, Apple. We said blow off top. Novice gap trap. Mm-hmm. Watch it. It's been riding the eight and the ten day pretty hard. Keep an eye on it. Amazon. They talk about AI gets a nice little rally here. Chop, 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 chop. Keep an eye on the levels. You know what to do. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Again, thank you all for the love and support. I appreciate the donations. Hard times make for hard people. And again, it, for anyone to be generous now, I appreciate it. It means you're doing well. And I hopefully you're learning a lot. Uh, CRM. CEO sells 100 million shares. They say AI, AI, AI every day. Looks like it's waterlogged. Ready to do what? Do something big. Guggenheim said, watch the 50 day, watch the 20 day. Ah, I got to get back up in the 125 area. I mean, that's always possible. You can see there's a VAP zone up here. If you don't know what the VAP zone is, the volume at price, there's a ton of inventory. That's what I'd be watching. If it pops up there, I think it's a chatort. Chatorty. Have you ever had that dessert? It's a chatort. It's yummy. It's very good with ice cream. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Meta. Mind boggling. Again, still think this company is absolute trash. They add, they're going to try to make Twitter timelines. I mean, they're trying to do it all whatever. No one trusts Zuckberg. And when he gets knocked out by Elon, probably not. I don't know. Elon should be get dirty. Just hit him in the balls. Oh, excuse me. I can't say that. This is level matters. Again, zoom in, zoom out, right? Look at this. Look at this level around 300. Keep in mind, I'd be looking for a distribution up here. Microsoft, Mr. Softy. What's it doing? Blow off top, chop in 20 days key. Keep it simple. NDAQ, we talked about how the NASDAQ exchange is dead tech stocks are not the future of trading people say you're crazy well you tell me does the stock look really healthy it looks like it's been basing before the next big breakdown go look at the monthly chart you're on the 50 month if it breaks hasta la vista baby microstrategy hits the freaking trend line ay caramba look at that said watch what happens if it gets over the 330s we said this could be a possibly topping candle but again, light volume Monday breaks out. Again, had the alarm here. Watch what happens. Look where you're at. I mean, you can, do you want me to draw? I can do some drawings. You can see there's like a little bit of a trendy, tendy, trendy line up here. Keep an eye on this area. Will we break out? It's all, again, all going to be dependent upon what? The Bitcoin. Uh, Netflix gets an upgrade today. Didn't really, dude, all day it was down and it ride a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't trust Netflix at all. Roblox, again, we like this name at some point to get bought out, but I like it at lower prices. I mean, I love this long base down here because again, you got somebody who's who believes in it. I mean, this is some strong action down here. It's just when will it go? Uh, again, I don't know. Tesla, people are saying oh, I got a Jordan. Jordan, I'm like, wait for the trend line. Now again, trend lines are arbitrary, as we all know. They're not guaranteed to hit and hit and sit. But man, you were so close to it. I don't know why you wouldn't. 285, whatever. Just set your alarm if you want to short it. Again, this feels like a very novice gap trap, ex, ex, like explosion. Here, like down here, like here you gap down and then chop. Made a slightly high lower low and then went rallied higher. Could we be doing that? Like chop around and then make a slightly higher higher and then pow. That's how I look at it. Letter X. Global growth on fire. China's cutting interest rates and stimulating because everything's great. Eh, professional gap down. Be careful. Those look, these look bad. New core. Same thing. Caterpillar. Meow. Cat. Double top, lower high. I mean, keep it on it. Valley, right? Should be on fire. Global growth. Looks great. Arrow. This is one that's been holding up. Again, keep this in mind for the future. Longer term name, I think. Arrow, copper. Looking interesting. Again, if it drops down, this is one I'll put in the scoop. Scoop it up. CCJ. Talked about it, getting to the 31s, probably leave it alone. Again, do we believe in uranium? I think so, but they're going to throw the baby out of the bathwater. Agnam, same thing. Just let them chop. I don't even know why I really talk about them, but just we like them at lower prices. When they throw the baby out of the bathwater, you still need to eat commodities. If you don't remember the pr previous ag craziness, I mean, people are going to be, again, they're talking about, oh, you're going to be eating crickets. Nah, people, dude, people are going to eat. People are going to eat. 20 day, same thing, looking looking all the same. AA Aaron. Alcoa Global Growth's on fire, right? Eh. Look at this. Aluminum just looks like poop. Just call it what it is. A polished turd of nothingness. There's, again, these material names, leave them alone. XLF, 
Said watch 32, 33 air. It's holding over the 200 day. So you got to give it credit. But is this temporary? I think so. I think it's temporary. JP Morgan, if you shorted up here and it retested, you did what you do. Today's action, little gap down, a little trap down. Keep an eye on it. Again, I think there's a great short up here. But again, tighten your, have your stops. Risk manage. Don't just sit here and go, well, Dan said short at 144. And it went, now it's went to 146. And then it went to 120. Well, how are you going to do it? What are you going to do if it does that? Right? Nice stuff. Morgan Stanley, lag. Lag. Remember, we do have earnings coming up in a couple weeks. So, Goldman Sachs, bah, same thing. KRE, we've talked about this. Oversold bounce. Michael Burry buying a bunch. I mean, nice nice trade. 34, 45. Some of these junior banks, now they're going waterlogged. Again, credit crunch, it's not one wave. It's not just kapow. It's, it's, it's ouch, followed by owie, and then kapow. Three legs down, typically. Um, here you go. XBI, biotech's holding 100. 200 day cross. Meh, meh. Solar said, wait for shorts to bounce. Wait for bounces to short. <laughs> there you go. A nice little gap down. Again, people are like, oh, why well, you hate solar? I'm like, because if oil and gas are going nowhere and, company, and countries can't subsidize this stuff and oil and gas is cheap, I'm telling you, they're going to go to what? <laughs> Green energy? Eh. They've got plenty of oil and gas everywhere. ENPH, we talked about it, rallying to the 50 day again. Keep an eye on it. Sedgerton, this has been a great short if you're short of this. In the 300s. We talked about the fake breakout. Watch the 100, sorry, the 20 day. Look at that candle. Left, right, combo, indecision after a solid rally. Again, nothing goes down in a straight line move. I don't get this. I tell this to people all the time. I'm like, what do you think now? What do you think today? What do you think today? I don't know. Same thing if you shorted first solar up here. All right. We told you it's probably going to bounce. Look, held held some support. Bounced up to, we said, if you get 196 shorted, I mean, wow, 195.38. Damn. Again, tight stops. Could it retest? This is the thing. Nothing goes down in a straight line. All right, let's end it. Oh, actually, I want to pull up HYG because corporate debt. Again, you would think corporate debt's looking would be looking better if the market's holding up. Eh, going nowhere. The riskiest debt is still looking risky as hell. Oil, as we've said, not surprised. Chopping around in these tight ranges. UNG, if you really got to be a hero, again, I think you wait for the reverse split. It looks like it's going nowhere fast. XOP. A lot of people are getting excited about oil and gas names. Personally, don't really care. I think this is going to be a big basing pattern. Keep in mind, these things went from this, this index went from 30 up to a buck 60. Why wouldn't it could why, again? Why could it? Oh, I guess 170s. Why can't it just base out and maybe flush it right before? Maybe down here again. I, ugh, I'd leave it alone. Exxon Mobil, if you shorted this one, we told you in the 116 to 118 range. Now you're just chopping, hanging out. Looks okay to me. Occidental, as we talked about, Warren Buffett is selling covered calls like a freaking madman and collecting so much money that you can just keep buying the stock. He might print enough money to buy the whole company in covered calls. That's my guess. Going nowhere, he doesn't mind it at all. As soon as the volatility picks up because of his headlines, he just sells more covered calls, it looks like. PXD, ExxonMobil, potential takeout target again. Chop, 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 chop. EQT, this one's been holding up pretty well. Again, some of the natural gas names rallied. Watch this area. Could it roll over? Hmm. Flex LNG. We'll end it in here. I think one day, no matter what, we will be big exporters of natural gas because we have so much of it. And somehow we'll figure out a way to convince everyone to go green and then be like, hey, you need natural gas as well. Ding, 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 ding. And who's going to have it? United States. 8% dividend yield. Congress is buying this. Somebody knows something. <sighs> That's a lot of talking. Just keep that in mind. Just keep an eye on it. If you have any questions, again, please reach out. Please check the live market chat today. Really good and insightful stuff to watch during the day. I think you'll appreciate it, what things are going live. If you have any questions, of course, don't hesitate to reach out. If you have real estate questions, call me. Stop slow rolling this. If you don't know what's going on in the real estate market, you're using some basic agent, your cousin, your brother-in-law, some guy who sells one house a year, guy who doesn't know crap, I'm telling you it's like going, I mean, you might as well better call Saul. You might as well go to the strip mall and pick out an attorney. All right. If you want the best, call me. I'll help you out. You get two agents for one referral. Let's do it. All right. Have a great night. See you in the Discord room. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, your PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.